In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to Zoho Analytics. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. Essentially, it's a modern self-service buy and analytics platform. Now, it's really useful for tons of different analytics. I'm going to try and break them all down for you. Now, if you haven't already signed up for Zoho Analytics, then there's going to be a link down below in the description. I would use that because number one, it will get you the best pricing and number two, you'll also get a 15 or 14 day free trial on that. So make sure you use the link down below and it will send you to this page. So once you've gone to this page here, you want to go to this button here that says Access Zoho Analytics. Click on it and it's going to take you through into the dashboard. It might make you do some onboarding first. It might not, depending if you have an account. So now that we're inside of it, it's got a little bit of onboarding for us to do. So number one, we've got import data, then we create reports and then share and embed the reports. So I'm going to click get started here. And first things first, it's going to want us to import our data. So there is a ton of different um, data sources that we can actually connect up here. We've got things from Excel, we've got cloud databases, um, Zoho campaigns, YouTube ads. We have so much stuff here to choose from, which is a really uh, reason that I think it's a great tool. So let's go ahead and just select something simple. I'm just going to go ahead and connect Shopify. So we're going to click on the Shopify integration here and it's going to give us some tool, uh, some tips on how to do it. So a little setup guide. Now the setup guide is going to be different for each different um, integration, but they're very, very straightforward and easy to do. So this one here, we have to basically authenticate the Shopify account, select the modules and fields to import, select the time and period and analyze and create reports. So I'm going to press next. And first of all, we're going to have to go into Shopify and grab the domain. Now, for me, I've just kind of grabbed my domain and I'm going to go ahead and post it in here. I'm going to remove the My Shopify bit here. Now, next up is going to ask my API key. Now, all of this data will change depending on the thing you're trying to import from, but it's pretty simple to find the API keys for most of them. And if there are any API keys that you can't find, let me know and I'll make a video about it um, on how to basically connect it all up. So I'm going to go get my Shopify API keys now. Now for Shopify, I believe you have to go to the apps and sales channel section here. I think you go to develop apps. Uh, you have to allow custom apps here. And then I believe it's going to give you the API keys when you start creating an app here. So depending on the way that you've imported your data and what data you're importing, there'll be a few different steps. So I'm now importing a table here and it's basically getting me to configure the table. I can press next. Um, it's going to ask me basically what each field is, um, the way that it's formatted. So, for example, it will ask if it's plain text, multi-line text, numbers, you know, zip codes, all of that kind of stuff. And it's best to put all this data in as accurately as possible uh, just so you can, you know, use it. So, it's going to show you here how much has been successfully imported. We can see 35 rows. And we now have basically got our um, data inside of... Zoho Analytics. So it's pretty cool. Now inside of a table, for example, we can go ahead and we can create filters. So we can create the filters based upon tons of different things here. Um, you know, we can go and do that. For example, if, if there's a match to a certain name or something like that, we can add that filter there and we can go ahead and apply it and then we can filter all of these different data points. Now with this data, we're able to go ahead and create dashboards and reports and stuff like that of it. So the first thing we can do is create a dashboard here and it's going to give us a bit of uh, a walkthrough. So this is the views list, the, the search views, the designer area, KPI widgets, text, image settings, grid, uh, that kind of stuff here. So we can basically go ahead and use all these different settings. We can go ahead and drag one of these documents in, for example. Um, we can you know move it where we want actually we can add some widgets here so we can use specific charts for example we could grab this chart and then we could pick the um, data range so let's say shipping costs we can do count we can pick if we want to group it um, you know you can just basically make different charts out of all the bits of data here um, you can add text you can add images if you want to add an image for some reason um, and then you can ask this thing called Zia so Zia is their AI tool uh, if you have any questions then you can ask the AI and it'll probably give you some in-depth in answers to it really 
We've got the embed here, so we can put a title and a URL and we can embed something into here. So maybe we want to embed some kind of live data, for example, we can go ahead and do that. And it just makes everything really good in one place and easy to see. Now up here they have themes, so they have a few different themes, you know, they have borders, flat, uh, top border, you know, all of these and they have some color schemes as well. Maybe you need to present this data and you want to make it look a little bit nice. Um, you can just do that here pretty easily. And then up here they have this thing called view mode. So basically you press view mode and this is basically how it looks to present. And you can see the data is quite nice. Uh, the themes are pretty nice as well. We can go back to edit design and we can go back to the whole editor and everything. We've also got this little settings cog up here if you want to go ahead and change any of the settings for the dashboard. Now similarly we can go over to the report section here and we can create a new report and we can pick a different view so we can do chart view, pivot view, summary view or tabular view so let me do a chart view for example again it's going to give us a little bit of a walkthrough, step by step walkthrough um, and for our chart we can pick our x-axis, our y-axis, the data we have inside of it um, all that kind of stuff. And we can basically select different data points here and uh, we can then go ahead and create a graph. So if I just put two things in here, I'll put shipping cost and profit. Um, I think if I put that here and here, for example, we can go ahead and generate a report. Uh, this report obviously doesn't mean anything because it's just random numbers, there's no correlation. But you can pick different data points on the different axes. Um, you might have, for example, delivery time and customer satisfaction. If you had those on two different axes, you could see the optimal zone, for example. Uh, there's just a lot of cool things of data you can do with it. And here there's different chart options, so you can get them all connected. You've got bar charts. Um, you have your combo charts, stacked bar, pie chart, scatter chart, and you have a map chart. Now, depending on the way that you've labeled your data, you can use these different um, things here. Again, we also have the view mode here, so we can you know, view this. We can go back to design mode. And we have our settings cog again here, so we can uh, view all our data. And then we've got our colors here as well that we can basically change. And something quite cool about this is that we can use multiple data sources. So we can add new data sources and we can have data sources from different uh, places all come into one area which we can combine uh, this is pretty useful for you know cross-checking different things uh, and just getting more in-depth analytics overall we have the general settings tab here so we have general we've got some resource stuff here formatting so stuff like date and time color palettes so we can um, pick the color palettes we like or we can create some uh, here We've got grid options, then we have our manage users section here. So we go ahead and add a user, we can pick their role, are they a user or are they an admin? Put the email in here, that will send them an invite to the email and then they can accept that and they'll have access to this. Depending on what you've given them, if they're an admin they'll have the same privileges as you. If they're a user they will usually just have viewing access. You've got groups here, so you can create collaboration groups, shared details, email schedules, so you can automatically send data reports and stuff so you could schedule it for once a month you've got variables slideshows alerts and backups so you can back up um, you can select regular backups if you'd like to how often you want them to be backed up um, and then you've got your trash trash section here so if you've put anything in the trash you want to get out you can go ahead and do that here but essentially that is a beginner's guide to Zoho Analytics. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if there's any elements that you think I didn't go into enough detail about and you'd like me to cover more in depth, then let me know down below and I will try and you know cover them for you. Again, if there's any integrations or anything you'd like me to cover, I can also do that. And one last thing, if you haven't already signed up for Zoho Analytics, then use the link in the description. It will get you the best discount and also it will give you a 14-day free trial so you don't want to miss out. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.